he's done. Now at season 12, I was finally able to max out my Fervent Fang. It's so satisfying. The last two rank was a pain in the ass. You need 9 copies for rank 9 and 12 copies for rank 10. But now it's a bit easier. You can get 3 if you buy the battle pass and you can get an extra if you buy the collector's one. Also if you buy Boon of Plenty, that's another 2 so you get 6 in a month. 24% damage boost with 300 resonance. You can even get a 3% primary attack damage bonus. The gems you can use inside the awakened gem are Chain Death, Bloody Reach and Battle Guard. Ok, so Gloom Cask. I encourage every demon hunter on the planet to use it. It's just as good as Blood Soak Jade or in my case it's even better and it's cheaper right now. Mine is at rank 4 and this setup right here is by far the best I've ever had. Let's see the gem. Your primary attacks unleash an aspect of gloom for 6 seconds during which time your primary attacks will trigger gloom blades that deal 42% base damage plus 275. 42% base damage, look at my everlasting torment, I love my everlasting torment. It's only 30% base damage every second for 6 seconds. Gloom blades are on primary attack, I'm not even gonna calculate with max speed. If you only have Vito's Urge and Hate Sheath, that's 70% attack speed, that's more than 3 shots per second, it's insane. The second part of the effect is that enemies hit by gloom blades take 6% increased damage from your primary attacks for 3 seconds. On top of this madness you get 6% primary attack damage and the next rank just doubles it to 12. Ok, I don't wanna sound like I'm able to pass rank 4. <laughs> the gem activates as a buff. It triggers V2 and the duration can be extended. It says 14 seconds for me but it actually stops when 4 seconds left. So the active time is 10 seconds. That is correct, I have 64% beneficial effect duration. So 6 times 1.64 equals to 9.84. I really like that it passes through enemies. It helps a lot with my Puncto Obscura problem I mentioned in my last video. I can recognize some kind of synergy in this setup, including my Pain Clasp. My damage gems further increase the damage of Gloom Blades. Banquet of Ice is the cherry on top to make it even better since it also increases all damage compared to Shell Bass I was using before. The 6% primary attack damage would be even better with the Hungerer, so this problem is still unsolved and I want back the Hungerer. I'm pretty much set with this lineup, it's really really satisfying, I show you the speedrun, you can find the build at the end of the video and see you next time.